So today we will build a relatively simple sequencing setup in the node grid. It's inspired by a sequencer in Visivira called Cartesia. As always, I added also the ideas from this video to the PDF of tips and tricks I keep on updating. It's available on my Patreon together with the project file from this video and for many other videos. So the Cartesia sequencer works by sequencing three directions individually. We can sequence the x-axis. Right, you can see this is in this case going from left to right horizontally. We can sequence the y-axis, so vertically. But we also have another plane, the z-plane, that will give us four more of these sequences, right? We have basically sorts of banks that we can switch between. Of course, we have pitch and gates for each of them. Right, and again, also this we can sequence or drive. And again, it all depends on how we drive the three directions, so we can really get interesting sequences and rhythms. So again, we will build this in the node grid. Already there is no need for the node input module, so we can just remove it. I also have the node grid set to monophonic. And what we will do, we will first create the x-axis, and for this, to make things easier and more intuitive, we will use the steps device right, the steps sequencer, so instead of building multiple sequencers with multiple switches and so on, we already have a sequencer ready we can just use to paint the notes. So we need this to have a length of four steps, right, we have a four by four grid, and instead of using the internal phase, right, I just disable it, we will use the relatively new step accessed um, module. Already here we can change the timing, right, we can change the different um, note values and we will set this to be four steps inside the four step sequence and this will drive the sequencer and this will be our x-axis phase signal, right, so it will drive the sequencers horizontally, so let's call this x-axis. And now, all in all, we have 16 steps, right? So we need three more of these sequencer, right? One, two, three, and the cable is already connected. We can maybe just change the notes here a bit. Now we need to have also the y-axis, and this we can do with the merge module, right? Also here, we need it to have, we need this to have four steps. And I will switch it here from a linear to nearest. So instead of a cross fading between the values or between the inputs, it will switch between them and the inputs will come from our sequencers. Right, and now we need a way also to drive this. So I will just duplicate the step axis here. In this case, it will be Y axis and this will drive the switch. Right, so now if I play this, we have horizontal movement right, and we have also vertical, so we have X and we have Y. And let's quickly do the same also for the gates, right, so again we have pitch and gates, all I have to do is just duplicate this uh, little setup here, and now I can choose to have gates instead of the steps, right, I just drag this over the steps, right, and now we have four gates also, this can already go to the gate output. And in this case, actually, instead of gates, I want this to be pulses, right? One, two, three, and four. And now for the pitch, instead of using a quantizer, I would like to use the key filter device. Now for this to work, we have to do um, a few things. First of all, um, we will use the pitch scaler device, right? So we can scale the range of the pitch. In this case, let's say C3 to C4. Uh, to C5, sorry, so we have two octaves. And now instead of sending this to the output, from my experience, this will not work with the key filter device. What we have to do is use the modulator out, right, send this or connect this to the pitch scaler and then modulate or control the pitch output fully, right, all the way up. And now if we use something in the post effects here, in the node grid, right, we can use the key filter, and now this will work as expected. So again, now we can just use or select a key that you want, a scale that you want, instead of having to enter the individual notes. And again, now we have X and Y, so if I run this, right, let's say um, that we have a few of the gates here. 
right let's do something like this and again they can um, run in different rates so the x-axis can stay with eighth notes let's say but the y-axis let's say with half notes right so now we have a longer sequence pitch and gates right again we have horizontal and we have vertical x and y and now to have the um, Z axis, all we have to do is have four copies of this setup, right? So the X axis and Y axis we leave, and the pitch scaler we leave, right? Also the note out, we don't need copies of this. This will be um, just one, but then we have, we need four more copies of this setup here, right? Let me select everything. So we have one, then we have two, right? We have three, and then of course it goes down here we have four right so we have four copies of this this might look like a mess now but you will see in the final version it's quite clean and easy to use but now we need a way to drive also the z axis so we will use two more switches right we need one for pitch and one for gate so if i duplicate this of course this will also go down but i just have to remove the cables and let's say that this will be this will be the switch for the pitch, right? And we need another one for the gates, right? So I can connect the four pitch sequences, one, two, three, and four to one switch, and then the four gate sequences to the second switch in the same order, right? So we have the same pitch and gates for all the sequences. And now again, we need another phase signal to drive this, right? So we have X, y and i will duplicate this and this will be our z or z depends where you are living right and this will drive both switches and now one switch will go to the pitch output in this case of course it's the scalar and one will go to the gate output and now we have also the z plane right and again also here we can choose a different duration right so in this case let's go with one bar and now if i hit play Right, we have X, we have Y, and we have Z. Right, and of course we need also to make some changes because otherwise everything will sound the same. Let's say that the second sequence here will be a bit, a bit um, less full here, and then here we'll have something like this, just so we can listen to the differences, right? And of course you can change also the notes. Right, so again, now we have X, Y, and Z. You can create lots of interesting rhythms and lots of interesting sequences. And actually, let me show you now the full setup, how it works and how it looks like. So I will disable this and I will enable the full setup. Of course, I have it saved also as a preset. Right, so if I take this out for a second, let me just make a bit more space here. Right, so we have, we have the four sequences, right? A, B, um, C and D, right, pitch and gates, let me play this already, right, pitch and gates, so we have X, Y and Z, right, Z will switch between the setups, here I have some notes, we have also the pitch range, you can see there are no cables everywhere because I'm just transposing, transposing, transporting the cables with the modulator out, right, so we don't have cables everywhere, it's very clean and intuitive to use, and we have here the different axes, X, Y, and Z. And I added also visual feedback with X, Y devices. So you can see exactly how everything is running. And again, we can also modify things. This is all, um, it all depends on how the axes are running. So for example, the X is going with 16th notes, the Y with quarter notes, and the Z with the bar. But of course, we can also modify the phase signals. Right, so for example, something we can do we can use the mirror. So for example, instead of 16 steps, I will go with eight or eighth steps and then add the mirror device and then it will be back and forth. You can see a sort of a ping pong. Right, and again, with this uh, visual visualization, you can see exactly how things are running. Right, we can also have things go in reverse, have things go in all sorts of different ways. Of course, this is a phase signal, you know, you can modify and process the phase in all sorts of ways. But here I left a gap 
right? So you can add all uh, sorts of different modules in between here. You can also, and I will show you this with another voice. I have here another voice, a bass with the same setup. But here in this case, I don't want to, the Z to go um, fully through the four sequences. So I have the Z here, also here I'm using the mirror, but I have the Z here open just to 50%. So we get just um, sequence A and sequence B. Right, and you can see the movement here. Right here to the right, there are all the different things you don't need to uh, touch, but here we have the interface, right? And I have this setup for a nice bass voice. Right, in this case, the range is also different, right? So you have a really um, fun setup that you can experiment with for rhythms and for pitch, right, with um, X, Y, and Z. I have here a few more voices, but before I bring them in, uh, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Cheers!